Hello, and welcome to my special place. I'm so glad you're here. Please make yourself comfortable. And I've been waiting and thinking about this for a long time. And I'm very happy to have the chance to share this place with you, this very special place to me. Um, I think for me, it is special because it includes the four elements. It has the bright sun, the fire element to warm you, to warm your skin. It has the earth, the deep, rich, moist earth with the grasses to hold one up, to help one as one walks upon it. And there's even a pond that is crisp and it's spring fed, so it's very cold. The further down you go, the sun warms the top couple of inches, uh, so you can kind of float in it and stay fairly warm, but as soon as you drop into it, it's chilly, chilly, chilly into the cold, deep spring-fed waters. And we have the air surrounding us all and giving fresh breath to every moment that you're here. So it has the four elements, and that's part of what is exciting for me about this place. Um, there are animals, and one of the things I love to do when I'm here is to get up early in the morning and to sit and to look out onto the pond and in the distance the meadow that has just been recently mowed. And so you have the fresh, crisp smell of the mowed hay and the mowed grasses that, that get stronger as the sun heats it up in the morning. And beyond the meadow, which stretches for like a mile, uh, is the beginnings of the forest. And there's forests on the edge of the meadow. And then you get to the edge, end of the meadow, the forests, and up into the beginning of the foothills and the high mountain range, which is where the sun comes up in the early morning and begins to warm you with its heat. And in those early moments in the morning before the sun is up is when the animals are most active and when you get a chance to possibly kept, catch sights of in the morning the deer come through. There's a wonderful mother deer who will just within feet of you from time to time will come through and she will be startled but she's not afraid and she will look at you and be curious about you and, and you equally can look back and be curious of her and then soon as she passes by her two fawns, this mother was very blessed and has got two fawns getting bigger and bigger by the day, but they still have their bright white spots on the sides of their coats for camouflage. And they are even more curious about you because they're innocent and they don't know to be afraid at all. And so they will stop and look and give a little sniff and wonder who you are. And other animals, <clears throat> there have been bear, I've seen bear here in the far distance fortunately. Uh, who inhabit this valley. The elk will come down, sometimes in small herds, and they also have growing calves this time of year. Uh, the bull elk don't come down so much yet, but the, the mother cat, the, the cows and their, and their offspring are here. And then in the middle of the meadow, sometimes in the heat of the day, actually it's odd, but it seems like the coyotes will come through and they will go hunting and they'll be very quietly walking through the short grass of the meadow and then all of a sudden they'll pounce and they'll come up with a mole or a mouse. And so this fragrance is, one of the things I love to do is lay out in the pond and have the sun warm up my skin and smell the sun on my skin as it warms up and lay there on the, on the little floaty in the, in the water and get heated up by the sun. It's one of my favorite things to be out in nature and get very, very hot in the sun. And then to turn over off the floaty and drop into that cold, crisp mountain spring-fed pond and, and burst back up out of the water, climb up as quickly as possible out of it because it's very, very cold. And the sounds, the, the breezes coming through from either the grass rustling or the pine needles have a very soft, subtle sound. Or then there's the cottonwood that has a rattly sounds to it that uh, changes through the seasons. It gets crisper and drier as it dries out in the fall. And the hummingbirds come through and they'll whoosh through and they're ever fast paced to find more flowers and to feed from the hummingbird feeders and fending each other off and humming and alighting and being quiet and then dispersing again in a burst of flurry and sound. And the eagles, every once in a while you hear the high, high kee, 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 kind of like that, of the eagles that are high in the thermals and they're looking and they're hunting and the, and the other raptors, the hawks, coming through and hearing them and the crows and the ravens talkative and the jays and the and the, um, oh, I'm going to forget the, not the Jays, the black and white magpies, a fam member of the Jay, and they're as talkative, and they're all talking and squawking and flying through, and, and the kingfisher darting through quickly, and um, all of those things, the scents of the grass and the meadows. And when it rains, you can feel and hear the rain coming in advance, and as it changes the atmosphere, and you can hear the subtle falling of the 
raindrops on the leaves and they're coming through and then a downpour and then it's gone in a few minutes and the sun breaks through and that's what it's like here in this part of the world. These things all I deeply, deeply love. Thank you for coming and joining with me today and letting me share this with you.